So I want to talk very briefly before we go into the next trivia question about the three different kinds of gazing. So you would think that when we look at someone, we actually look at them the same way. We look at their eyes, you know, back and forth. Actually, our eyes make a pattern on people's faces. So let me show you, this is power gazing. So power gazing is when we look between someone's eyes and we go up to their forehead. That is the pattern that our eyes make when we are looking at someone. And power gazing is what we do in business situations. It's what alphas do. So alphas are the natural leaders of social groups. Sometimes they can be bosses, especially in a business environment, but not always. And alphas use this pattern more often. So eye, eye, forehead, that's where they go with their eyes. And we're gonna be talking about how to use this in your business situations, how to use gazing to your advantage. The second type of gazing is social gazing. So when we're in more casual situations, when we're in maybe networking events, definitely out with friends, our eyes make a different pattern. They drop, they drop down to our mouth. So they go eye, eye, mouth. That's where we look when we're looking at someone. We make that little triangle. When we're more casual, it's literally like we let our guard down or our gaze down. We drop down to be more casual. Lastly, Intimate gazing, so this is only with people you're very close with, and I make the distinction here. It is eye, eye, chest. It is not breasts, it is chest, okay? Slightly higher up. Uh, so it's, it's this lower area right here, and that's because it's considered an intimate zone. When you're with a partner, you drop down as if you're having that kind of heart connection. Um, so we drop our eye gaze down much more when we're feeling intimate. This is interesting in business because, first of all, to be taken more seriously, we want to stay in the power gaze. Um, sometimes women especially, if we're feeling camaraderie and we're trying to build connection, we drop our gaze. But actually that sends off a very different signal. It's a more casual signal and you have to be careful what you want to portray to the people you're speaking with. Also for women, you can tell how someone feels about you, especially a man, if he is dropping his gaze on you, right? Either to mouth or chest. So it's a very interesting way of not only showcasing how you want to feel, but also ga gauging what they feel about you based on their eye patterns.